Hey friends, I'm really happy to see you. You guys have sent me a lot of messages asking how I find all these, you know, random horror games to talk about. Like, big gaming, how do you keep track of all that? Well, today we're not playing something that I found. Today we're gonna play something that you guys told me about. Today's horror game is It Steals, and I've literally had dozens and dozens of recommendations regarding this game. I don't know anything about it. I know that it's first person, I know that there's a radar system, and I know that, according to you guys, it's legitimately terrifying. So we're going to experience my first reactions to this game together. I literally know absolutely nothing about it other than what the options menu told me. And also, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for the recommendations. I hope you guys know that I really value your opinion. I want this to be a space where you can freely share your horror game opinions and know that someone is reading them and cares about them. Your opinion on a horror game is just as important and just as valid as mine is. Your opinions will never be dismissed here. They're part of what makes these videos so special. And speaking of special, let's find out together what makes It Steals so special. Okay, press R to check radar. Now, I did read in the About Me section about me. I read in the directions that running is very, very, um, dangerous and risky in this game. So let's check the radar. Oh, that's how the radar works. Okay. I was assuming it was going to be a mini-map, but that's interesting. Um, let's go ahead and read some of these notes. You can't run. This is just gibberish scribble I can't read. Um... This is a random page. You're not supposed to be able to read it because the game is pixelated, so stop trying, please. Okay, so, um, first thoughts. Very, you know, gorgeous lighting. I, I think lighting is one of the most important things to get right in a horror game, and I can tell they've gotten it right. There's some blood here on the wall. Um, I'm not sure... I think there's like different game modes, but they unlock progressively as you move through the game. So I guess we're just starting with the first here. I, I just clicked play. And all we hear is the droning of some machinery, like maybe an air conditioning unit. We hear the fan going. And there's that like grainy light kind of bathing this dark room with these almost like pizzeria kind of walls. Okay, so it is quiet here. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing yet. I'm not sure if this is a randomly generated experience behind you. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that to me. Okay, let's collect this real quick. 13. Oh, I can hear them. So maybe we're supposed to run around and, and collect 13 more of those orbs. So sound is big here. They say headphones were recommended. Let's check the radar. I have a feeling we're not alone. Uh, and the radar does show them as well. Okay, cool. So the game's not holding our hand. We're not alone in here. I know we're not. Um, and I don't really know what to expect? Supply closet. I'm starting to get a bit nervous. I wonder if this is like Slenderman the Eight Pages. Where the more I collect, the more aggressive the entity becomes. I don't know. Okay, that's an X. So I'm not running at all. <laughs> I'm gonna take the game at its word. Oh! Ah! <laughs> no! Was that just there to tell me? It didn't... Okay. Was that just there to tell me that not to run? Really? Can I see that thing on my radar? Oh. I didn't even think I clicked off. Alright, there's a blood trail too. Oh! No! No! Oh, 
Does the flashlight flicker? When it's close? I don't even know what's in here with me! Oh my gosh! Come on, man! I don't even know what this thing is or what, like, how it's finding me. Does knocking on doors even do anything? Right, let's check the radar again. It's to our right. We only have a couple more. It seems. Dude, what is that? It gets angry when you run. I don't even know where it's coming from. Okay, let's give that another try. I'm still not really sure what I was even looking at, or like what I was dealing with there. Man, that's that's scary. Okay, you hear slithering down the hall. Alright, so it's starting me off in a different spot this time. Let's just go around and collect as many as we can. Checking the radar. I'm not sure... I mean, I didn't even see it before it gets me. That doesn't even do anything. It probably just alerted him to where I was. What does it mean? It gets angry when you run. Am I supposed to stand still? When it comes to attack? I wonder. Because I'm not even seeing this thing approach me. I don't even know what it is. Oh, there he is! Is he afraid of the light? Okay, wait a minute, guys. Maybe I shouldn't be afraid of him. Maybe I should point my light at him. Interesting. I like the way the game is kind of teaching me how to play, sort of. Right, let's go straight, make a left up here. Flash it, okay. Um, let's work on our, you know, words there. Let's say, point the flashlight at him. Where's he coming from? Dang, he got me. Okay, 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 okay. So... Alright. Oh, there's no pause menu? Oh, it says escape to quit. So while we were loading in, it said that failure is a part of the experience, and I kind of... understand. I, I, I'm starting to learn more about the monster. There's, there's things on the wall also kind of giving me hints. Um... This is not a monster I'm supposed to run away from. I don't know what it is. I don't know... It seems to be either sensitive or afraid of light. And... We gotta use that information to our advantage. Because running isn't working. Even walking away isn't working. Now, one thing I don't understand at all is what exactly is this monster like in terms of story? Why are we here? What exactly are we collecting? Um, I'm wondering if this is one of those games where none of that matters. And all that matters is that the developers have put you into a scary scenario. And we have to do our best to make it out. And it's just about the gameplay, atmosphere, the situation. Um, but even with those games, I think it's fun to speculate about the story and the reasons behind. Ah, there we go! Okay! So there's a number of things we can pay attention to, guys. There's the, the flashlight flickering. Like that. But when... I hear him. When you hear the monster approach, be ready to le use your light source. So, um, one of the things that I enjoy discussing with you guys is game design. Um, and how important that is, you know, for horror games too. Being scary isn't the only thing a horror game needs to focus on. Um, and I love the way... I love the way that the game is teaching us how to play without directly telling us what to do. Failure does seem to be a part of the experience. T 
Two hundred? What do you mean, two hundred? Wait, what's going on? Why were those things moving? No! Oh, I don't know where to go! Help me! I always win? What does that mean? New guide. Classic. Okay, collect all the orbs, use the razor, uh, radar to find them. Watch your back. Shining your light will scare it away. Running makes it ruthless, so don't run unless it's enraged. Running will exhaust you. Walk to clear your vision when it becomes enraged the second time. There's little time left. Use the radar to find the last orbs. It's at 200, though. There's not 200 orbs I gotta collect, right? Okay, the loading screen told me don't play it alone. It knows. I don't think this is a multiplayer game. And... I don't think Ched's in the room with me, either. Big Ched and Pumpkin are not here. So maybe it does know I'm alone. I'm determined to beat this. So when it's enraged like that, I need to plan out my route and collect the last few orbs. Gotcha. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. All right. I feel like we got this part down. Right? Ah, there you go. See? Nice try. I'm starting to wonder if the flashlight flickering is just... Coincidence. I hear you. I hear you. I don't know where you are, but I hear you. Ah! Okay! Bro, leave me alone! Come on, man! Why did he get enraged like that before I didn't run? Okay, I think I got lucky the first time. Alright, let's go back this way. I think I got lucky the first time. Why do we keep seeing that face drawn on the... the walls... and the pictures? What? Try to turn my radar off. Nice try, gamer. A little too smart for you there. Um... Okay, we're gonna head over, get the rest of these. Am I going the right way? Yes. Come on. There's one here. Boom. Boom. I'm really enjoying this game so far. I think it's very intelligently designed. I don't know where the last one is. Boom! This is only the beginning? What do you mean? Press E to zoom? Why would I need to do that? There's more? There's no way out. Okay, good. I'm very impressed by by the uh, game design especially. First of all, the game is, is gorgeous. I absolutely love the art style. And one of the things that I think that this game does well, that some horror games do not, is the fear of the unknown. We talk about that concept a lot in horror games. Okay? Okay, we beat the first game mode. Awesome! Okay, cool. So that gives us a star. Yeah, let's, let's kind of con continue that discussion. The fear of the unknown. We saw a glimpse regarding what this monster was, but 
it never allowed us to really soak in the details. So, even on that last playthrough, I still didn't really know what I was looking at. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know um, how its body was structured, what its face really looked like. We caught glimpses, but we had to run away most of those times. And that keeps a horror game fresh and scary. The fear of the unknown. You can show your monsters in ways where you don't reveal the entire aesthetic. And that keeps things scary. So my clothes are a bit different because we're playing the second mode on a new day. I decided instead of breaking this up into a bunch of different parts, I want to just knock out all the modes in one giant video. Let's experience this whole thing. So, uh, all five game modes vary in difficulty from easy to severe. So we're basically unlocking the game modes in order of difficulty. I'm not going to unlock them all with the cheat option. Um... I think there's a reason that, the, like, there's an intention for the game doing this to slowly, um, you know, ease us into the experience. So I'm going to go ahead and start shutter mode. I have no idea what to expect here. But then again, I didn't know what to expect with classic either. So here we go. We're doing shutter mode now. Click to flash. R to check the radar. Don't run out of batteries. So the radar works... Oh, no. Oh! It's the same thing. Okay, so... Oh. Guys, we have to be really careful. So the same principles apply from the last time. We're using the radar. Finding the objects. This creature doesn't like light. But instead of having a flashlight, we have a camera that has a limited battery supply. So together, guys, we still need to use our ears and listen in regards to where this thing is coming from. I gotta go this way. I can barely see. There we go. Hello? No! Oh! No! No! Why is he angry? I don't understand what I did. Stop! Okay, so... Jeez. Um, okay. In that mode, when he's enraged, he's faster than you, so... You still need to take a picture of him in order to stun him and prevent him from continuing to chase you and it's all it's a resource management game turned a terrifying game of hide and seek into also a resource management game let's go ahead and take a right here since there's two away in a major no crib for a bed the little Lord. I thought that fan was the gamer. Jesus. Lay down his sweet head. The stars in ah! Okay. We're gaming. So, <laughs> if this is the second stage, I legitimately cannot comprehend how scary this game is about to become. I already consider this to be in the upper echelon, and, and it's all because of the game mechanics. He's enraged. It's all because of the game mechanics. Yep. Stop! Stop! Okay. New guide. Okay, you know what? We're... <laughs> Help me! Shutter mode. Flash to scare it away. Listen for its footsteps. Running makes it ruthless. Okay, so never run. When it is enraged, flash it to stun. So... 
Enraged and ruthless are two different things, because I don't think he was that fast before. Uh, make distance or it will leap upon you. At all costs, don't run out of batteries. It knows and will go berserk. What is it? A little... Like a big block guy. Got a Roblox character chasing us. Okay. We got it, we got it. The... The gameplay mechanics are so good in this game because they legitimately make the game scarier. And they're very easy to understand too. And the way the game slowly teaches you and, and puts more responsibilities on you is ingenious. And I kind of wish other indie horror games were like that. Nice try. Okay. All right. So he's definitely not going to be happy here in a second. Which is okay. I don't care if he's happy or not. Because however he's feeling, he's going to have to deal. Okay, let's get some distance between us. I always win. Okay, so... I didn't run it all that time and he was still as fast. So when it says get some distance, I, I, I think I might be misinterpreting what the guide was saying. I think it's appropriate to run once we've stunned him when he's mad. So I have a, I have a good strategy going into this. All right. Having a radar in this game is so useful. So useful. Dude, I just started. I, I wonder what exactly it is. Like, I want to know. And when we lose and it says I always win, is that that thing speaking? Or is there someone orchestrating something much bigger. These are my thoughts going into this, guys. Okay. Dude, I... Got you! I know. Man, I can't even get past five. Try. I really need to have a good lay of the land here. Bit better job of checking my radar. Possibly. And this guy doesn't even, like, give me a chance. I hear him. Dude! Oh, I was so close, though! I think! I think I'm being a little too... Oh, look at this. Look at the spawn. Wonderful. Nope. Definitely... Don't want to run at the beginning. Oh! That, those dots on the wall almost got me. Nice try, gamer. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, 
That's so, that's so tough. That's so tough and I had such a good spawn. Please! I, I literally didn't even get to check the radar before homie is here. Will he stop chasing me after a while? Can I knock on the door? Oh, it's only when he gets you. So I ran out of batteries and he'll come get me now. Yeah, so you just, yeah, okay. How did the difficulty jump up so much? What? Why are you so mad already? I didn't even do anything. Seriously? Jeez. I think that time bro was trolling. <sighs> All right, let's go this way. I can't run at all. This is not a good spawn. Ugh. This is not a good layout. I almost want to reset. But I don't get better that way, right? are help oh come out come out wherever you are this way please no I'm wasting time. <sighs> this is not good. Please. Damn it! Yeah, I've had enough. You kidding me? Bro said he's had enough. How do you think I feel? I need some close spawns here. This is brutal. I'm getting nothing here. So he's gonna get mad here in a second, I think. After I tag him one more time. Oh. 
Yep. You're not slick. Okay. I don't know where I am now. But we're still good. I don't hear anything. Oh, there we go. Dude. There's got to be a thing, a gem around here somewhere. You got me. I can't use my radar? If he gets you, I, you can't use your radar? He's gonna pop out soon. Dude, are you kidding me? I can't use my my radar? How am I supposed to beat the stage? Come on, man. If he tagged you when he's not enraged. That's basically game over then, because you're just wandering around the darkness. Oh, I literally think I had one more. Or two, or something like that. I shouldn't have ran. Please! Oh! Pictures! Cool! He's looking... Like something. What? <laughs> Just a curious guy. I wonder what he is. Oh, he was right about to catch me there. Let's go! Mode number three is hide and seek. Oh, joy! That sounds... Miserable! Great! Good! Awesome! Great! Good. Good. I'm kind of just ready to go on to the second one here and we're going to... Oh, did the background music change? Or the, the next one, excuse me, the third one here. Yes. The background music changes with each one. Okay, so now we're doing... Hide and seek. Help me God. Its name is Legs. F to disable the light. Control to crouch. I'm it? Now you're it? I have to hide? Oh, God. This guy looks different than Legs. I think he's gonna see me, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, I can see him on the radar. No! He's got me. 
You can hide, but you can't run. But then he's just gonna keep looking for me, right? Wait. That's not what I meant. Uh, I clicked the star, though. Does that... Does it take me to, like, an alternate version of the second game? Whatever. We'll figure that out later. You see checkers under your eyelids. Okay, I need to collect as many of these things right now. What happens if I don't find him? That's what I want to know. It really doesn't want me to run in this game. Like, ever. Seems like our best bet... ...is to collect as many of these things as we can before we find it. I kind of ran into him on accident last time, though. Wasn't necessarily on purpose. Oh. Ow! Damn, man! Are so useful though. Oh god, he's right next to me! He sees me. He was hitting the quan. <sighs> Alright. Hide and seek. In the beginning, you are the seeker, but its game leads to death. Don't play along. When hiding, your flashlight will give you away if it's left on. Crouch behind box and shelves. Listen for the stomping. Never run. If you stay in place too long, it will find you. When it finds you, it will blast through walls to catch you. Make distance. Doesn't mean don't play along, like... I really think we need to delay the finding him part as much as possible to give us the biggest advantage. That's what it seems like to me. And this... This does not look like legs, this guy here. All right, here we go. If I think I might find him, I'm just gonna turn around. Go in a dip, oh. Nope, there he was. I saw him. I'm not playing his game. Not doing it. He might change spots here, though, I think. I have a feeling he will. Because I can move. So why shouldn't he be able to kind of thing? Alright, so let's get as many of these as we can. Right. I like the strategy. What happened? What happened? Why did the power go out? Terrified. Help! Go this way. I don't want to play his game. Oh crap! He's coming that way. He's not giving me much of a choice. I'm 
Sound is very, very important. In every single mode of this game. Okay. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Oh, I was so nervous. Like, my whole body was tensed up there. We did very well, but... Damn. Guys, this is brutal. This is such a scary game. I, I can't believe I'm just now playing it for the first time. This game is so scary. Nope, I'm not gonna look at him. I saw him, he's trying to blend in. But that's not legs anymore. That's a different thing. Look at all of the orbs I still need to get. Y'all could have made it like 15, you had to do like 23 or something. Good lord, I'm gonna be here all day. Okay. Yep, power goes out. We want to keep this guy at bay for as long as possible. I think the power going out is just supposed to mean like, hey, you're at a disadvantage now because you have to use your flashlight. Okay. Crap. I didn't look at him. I turned around, didn't look at him so he wouldn't know that I saw him. Backed up. And got the orb. Big brain, gamers! Oh! I panicked. I thought I could run past him. Okay. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! He's over there. I ain't even gonna bother. Bro can sit there crouched all he wants. He does move around though. Like, we know that for 100%. If I run... Oh, yeah, I can run. With no penalty while he's hiding. Good. Extra careful. So that's really good. Because you can't run at all when... There he is. I'm not going to look at him. I'm not going to look at him. Come on. We got it. No! I don't know how I got past him. Uh, isn't this fun? And why is it called It Steals? Like... Right. 22. Yeah, really the trick is to just delay the... seeking portion. Because when he does find you... You can't even move around remotely as fast. So it just makes the whole exper experience more difficult. I 
I heard a noise, but I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if that was the, like him moving around. The hide and seek, in my opinion, is um, probably the scariest. I don't know how these are getting scarier. That's really impressive, like from a game design perspective. Because normally it's the opposite for horror games. Okay, we're still good. We're at 11, guys. Oh, shoot! Come on, man! I hate it when he, f he gets found, bro. Woo! I'm totally lost. I just ran past a bunch of them. Where? I am not in a good area. Because I don't seem to be near any of these things. I hear him. I shouldn't have ran. Yeah, I can't run. I get that. Okay. Let's... He's he's basically impossible once he's in the... Hide... Like, once he's seeking for us. You really can't cover... Much ground at all. If you don't get to the point where there's, like, five left, it's basically over. At least for me. So, we can do it. That's not going to stop me from trying. Nope, there he is. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not falling for your tricks, gamer. It's so scary. I, I like. I want to learn more about what these things actually are. I'm probably gonna put out a few like short theory videos. Man, I, I'm just clueless. One. So at, at 15 is when the light shut off. Okay, let's head up here. Gotta be very careful checking around these corners, guys. Face the wall, so that way, just in case. Okay, he's over there, which is fine. We're gonna get this one. He's over there now. We're gonna get this one. That's okay. We know exactly where he is. He's getting very aggressive with how he's moving positions here. Man, I, I just... This game is so scary and it's also a very skills-based horror game. But... I, I'm just impressed with how this game... What was that? Is able to continue to evolve, like... It's game design complexity while also staying scary. Because, man, when you hear that monster thumping after you, it, it's an adrenaline shot. All right, he's that way, so we're going to go this way. He's that. He's there now. He's extremely aggressive right now with how he's changing where he is. Nope, we're good. 
We're down to seven. This is huge. Okay, so there's one over here that we need to get. And then the rest seem to be... Well, let's grab this one real quick. I thought I just saw one over here. Yeah, it's down this way. Man. I do not understand the layout. He's right there. I literally just saw his foot. Come on. Hopefully he's not around this corner. We're down to six. And at this point... There he is. Come on. Look how aggressive he is. He's, he's basically changing positions constantly. This is crazy. My movement hand is absolutely shaking right now. That's the way I went before. Nope, he's there. Let's see if he's still there. Nope. Okay. So he will change positions basically when you stop looking at him. Five. Four. Three. No idea where the others are. I am sticking to my radar here. I saw one over there. There he is. I can literally just see him at the very edge of my flashlight at this point. I hear it. I'm so nervous. There's another one over there too. I am so nervous right now. One mistake could completely break the run. See there? Yep, he's still there. Okay, that's fine. We'll go this way. Still there? Yep. Please. Is he still there? And no, he's gone. Why can't I use... the radar anymore? It's not letting me. on yes it's been fun thank god they were so close together because he like shouted play with me and then achievement that's cool living halls is the next game mode jeez so it's so crazy because hide and seek and shutter mode basically make classic look like a glorified tutorial and it meant in many ways it really is kind of just a tutorial i have no idea what to expect from living halls um but I think shutter mode and hide and seek is enough for one day for me. You guys are going to be seeing this whole thing all cropped together in a massive video, but, uh, yeah. Um, I also want to say that I don't want to cut out a lot of my failures because 
it's going to be important for us to like watch the learning experience, I think. I think that's a big part of this game is the learning experience. So yeah, really good stuff for hide and seek. I, I, I like the strategy we adopted there. Well, another day, another shirt, and we are on the game mode, the fourth game mode called Living Halls. They're getting creepier and creepier when it comes to the names every time we unlock a new mode. This is the second to last mode, and let's see if it continues with the trend of getting scarier. Hold space to aim the sensor. When in sight, they don't bite. The sensor? Take your time. Wait, how did we get here? Did we fall down a trash compactor? Vault C. I don't understand. The sensor? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. The walls are covered in flesh. I don't know what the sensor does. Every time I pull up the sensor, it just counts down. But what does that mean? And then there's, of course, the... Droning sound? Living walls. And some of the rooms are highlighted. I still have absolutely zero clue what the sensor's for. Zero. God, the walls are... Hello? Why is my flashlight flickering? Oh my god. What? Keep us in sight? So, my sensor was... counting down consistently, from what I could see. Oh my god, that's so terrifying. Like, the, the flashlight flickering. There's no lights. Um... So it's basically a giant spider that has... is traveling around these flesh walls? Okay, so, oh, we're in Vault B now? Point it toward uncertain corners. Point the sen sensor and if danger is ahead, use the radar to find home. And we're in a different vault this time. Okay, guys. We can figure this out. Is that a corner? This way? I just... I have no idea what we're supposed to be looking for in suspicious corners. Don't let us get near, but keep us in sight. Okay. Let's look at the guide. I, I, I'm so confused. I haven't been this confused with the game yet. 
They hide around corners and freeze when they're in your sight. Running is risky because... Okay, so I... For some reason, I didn't think running was risky in this game mode. I was wrong. Been wrong before. We'll be wrong again. Be cautious when the device alerts you to their presence. I don't know why it's counting down, though. Use the three vaults to gain extra time. The radar is essential and shows their locations. When the clock hits zero, hide in a vault and wait for the clock to restart. Oh, I get it. Okay. The number is is inconsequential to finding the monster. It's going to count down. It's a timer. And if you run out of time, you have to get to a vault in order to allow it to recharge. That sensor will shine green when you're pointing it in the direction of the monster. So they hide around corners and freeze when they're in your sight. So we can kind of use that to figure out where they are. But the the clock is just a countdown timer. That's it. Okay. All right. That's definitely the strangest, and I'm not sure if it's the most intuitive compared to the others. But, I mean, still terrifying, I, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Take a look at our radar real quick. We're gonna go up and to the left. That way, okay. So if it shines green, we know to stay the hell away from there. I'm assuming, like, this is the spider's silk that it's adding to these flesh-covered walls. Ooh. Is that a vault? It is. Doot. All right, so we're doing okay. Yep, let's get away from there. That's fine. So that helps us kind of figure out where they're coming from. Because that... Okay, they're there. Okay. All right, guys, we're figuring it out. It's intuitive. I need to get to the vault. Thank you. Let's recharge. When your time runs out, the vault is your only hope. So what? Is it going to recharge? Can I use my flashlight? What are we doing? Oh. Is that the maze? Okay. But... How do I recharge my... Oh. No, I just wasted a bunch of time. Good! Okay. We got this. I feel like I understand what's going on now. Nope. Ah, oh, this is such a creative game, though. Like, honestly, um, it is a bit more intuitive than I thought. But I was giving it credit for? I don't know where they are. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really inspiring seeing how creative each new stage gets. And it, it, it is building upon itself. Crap. Alright, I need to find shelter.
Where are we going? Vault right here? Thank God. Vault C! This is where we started. Okay. Let's hang out here for a bit. Guys, we're figuring this out. I, I really feel like we are. This is so interesting. It's, it's really astounding to see just how this game builds upon itself. Um, first of all, obviously a spider enemy. Terrifying. Also, the sound, uh, the sound design in this game is really creepy. And I haven't brought that up enough, but it is. Okay, let's go there. Okay, he's coming that way. He's coming from that way. I'm not sure where. My radar's not working. Of course. All right, he got me once. Let me go ahead and go back in the vault, because I'm nervous. Oh! He becomes a wall. Where's the vault? That's what they meant by living walls. That's what they meant by living walls. It's not the flesh around the wall. The spider can become a wall and you have no idea what you're even looking at. Oh my God. Actual genius game design. Let me plan out my route real quick. Straight ahead. Okay. All right. It's me and you, Spider-Man. Ah! Okay. Okay. I get it. You hear me run. Good for you. C-spot run. Okay, we're gonna try to... How did he... So what should I have done there? That's the real question. The arrows on the wall help us find... Vaults. So this is easily... Without question, the most complex... Game mode. So what is the fifth one gonna be? Where is he? There, there, there he is. No, sorry. Damn, I gotta get by there though. That's right. I'm too good. I am too good! You're too late, Spider-Man! Oh! Ah! Dog! Where? I don't know where the vault is! No! Oh, don't panic. Oh, good, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. This is brutal! 
Guys, I'm scared. I legitimately think this is one of the scariest games I've ever played. Like, they know exactly how to make you feel completely trapped and helpless. Two really good spawns at the start. Good. And I do like how skills-based the game is. Sure, there's a little bit of RNG, but RNG makes games fun, and don't let others tell you otherwise. I don't know where it's coming from. Don't know where it's coming from, but I don't want any part of it. The living walls. What a cool idea for a horror game. The walls look disgusting, though. That's what they meant by corner. Okay. Where are you? Ugh, I'm so lost. I'm definitely gonna need to find... Uh, we might as well take the vault while we're here. I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, we, we, we got 34 seconds. Okay, let's refresh, regroup. Okay, there's one to our left, and we gotta go straight ahead. Okay. I don't like how once our sensor goes, the regular lights and our flashlight both stop working. Whose idea was that, huh? Who do I need to speak to? Okay. Straight ahead to the right. I know you're out there. I know you're out there! It's hard to tell where you are sometimes. I don't know where it's telling me it is. Where?! You're, cre you're creeping me out. Goodbye. All right. Let's plan our route again. Um, there's one behind us. Three in front of us. Okay. We. How does it know? Is it because I ran at the end there? Is that why? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uncertain corners. I got something uncertain for you. I, I don't. Okay. To the lift. I know there's one up there. Oop. Let's make sure that they're all... Ah, see, there's one behind us. I don't want to have to go all the way back and get that if I don't have to. Um, this might be the most important. What the hell was that? 
Where did the rest of the noise go? That was so weird. I did not understand that at all. Let's go get this one. Where is it? Hold on, let me go get these. I feel like I'm behind. Yep. 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 Did I make a mistake? Or am I okay? <sighs> okay. Run's not over. I really cut it close there. Okay, we cleared out all the ones in this area. That's that's really good. So we're gonna go ahead and head straight and then left. What's going on? Okay. I don't know what all that pomp and circumstance was about. It twisted like three too many times. I don't know what the hell was going on. Okay. Blue orbs. I don't know what these blue orbs are for, but I am so glad they are bioluminescent. Assuming they're organic material. Okay. Very good. Ten left. I like our... positioning here. Let's see. Okay. Around the corner, under a tree. Hmm. He seems to be somewhere else. Seems to be a little preoccupied. Oh God, I hear him. Let's get to a vault. I seem to be cutting things a bit close. We're not running, we're not we're not rushing. Cause he, he can hear you run into that vault. Okay, four left. Four left. He can hear us run into this vault. We know that. Come out. It's safe. Open up. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. And I'm wondering... Once more, into the breach. I see him. going on? How many of them are you? How many of them are there? Come on, dude! Shoot! That was the last one! 
Oh, come on, man. There's like three of them there, it seemed. Oh, it's, it's, it's gonna be so brutal to get that luck again. Damn. What a heartbreaker. What a heartbreaker. I feel like just speed running. What is that noise? Every every new playthrough, I'm hearing a different noise, man. Oh! Okay. And the last one seemed like he wasn't close to me at all most of the time. This one, he seems like he's constantly in my space. Okay. Sorry, I'm focusing like crazy right now. Let's grab this one and then grab a vault. Oh my. Okay, go straight here. Wait, where's the vault? Oh, go this way. Come on. Where's the vault? Um. <sighs> Damn, this is so, this is this is brutal. This is so much harder than the other three game modes. It's not even close. I can't imagine how hard the fifth one is. Come on, we can do it. Oh, I'm so determined. Don't know what it implies. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where? I'm just collecting any of them I see at this point. Cause, oh, that that's one of them? Oh, I didn't know that. Didn't even scare me. I'm not even phased by the gamer. I could smell him. I was just giving him a pity hit. Very bad start, though. I will say. Very bad start, or already taking a hit. But when he's enraged, it doesn't really matter because he just kills you anyway. Alright. Nothing even in the vicinity. Um, I guess we'll head straight. I'm not feeling confident about this one at all, guys. To be honest. But that's okay. Right ahead. Not feeling confident, but things could turn around. Ah. Nice try. There's a 
another one. I like how close these are. There's one here. Somewhere. I thought there was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. Get in a vault. It's right here, I might as well. Is this the same vault we just used? Oh. I guess not, I don't think so. Okay, let's go ahead and... Hmm. Sorry if the commentary is not up to par, guys. I'm in the zone. I'm focused. So we gotta go straight into the right. Not a second wasted. Let's go. I don't trust these random pillars in the rooms at all. Not a chance. I think I hear one. Yes. Come on. I'm not afraid of you. I've never been once. I don't even need to use my sensor. I can smell ya. And you smell bad. Help me, God! Panicking. Yep. I, I... I didn't play it safe. I did not play it safe at all. And that's what happens when you don't play it safe. Oh, this is so brutal. Gamers, are you legitimately enjoying this? Because I'm having an absolute blast. I've never played something on a video with you guys that was so difficult before. Um, it It's so unbelievably punishing, but I'm not upset because the game establishes rules and it sticks to those rules with absolution. So I've really only had myself to blame. It's me getting greedy, guys. Um, for those of you that have experienced It Steals before, how am I doing? Like, just a little check-in. How am I doing so far? Is this a typical experience? The typical learning curve of the game? Am I struggling more than more than others have? Or oh, these lap map layouts are going to be the death of me. Okay. I have got to get to a vault. See him. Yeah, he's still there.
Yeah, there's a couple of them here. Um, I'm a little stuck. Oh, here we go. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I, that was total luck, guys. That was complete luck. Let's check the radar. That was so lucky. I stumbled into that. So we have to go out this way. Oh man, behind us there's like a bunch. Okay, I'm wasting a little time, but it's okay. We got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, this is... Come on. Radar, you gotta be faster than that, man. I need you to pull up. Okay, I'll pull up. Oop. Over here. Given up. I refuse. You're not going to take this from me. No. Who? Got to get shelter. Oh, baby. That's what I wanted to hear. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Where? Where, Dwight? I can't wait to never play this game mode again. I am so sick of that damned beeping. Terrible spawn. Okay. But that is okay. There's one in here. Yeah, just some of the some of the layouts I, I just can't get used to. It's I think it's made to be confusing deliberately. I don't know where he's coming from. Oh there he is. They don't make any sort of, like, scurrying sounds? I got, got to get to shelter here soon. I'm playing with fire. And I know I am. Oh, let me just grab this. Alright. You got it. Don't panic. The game literally tells you not to panic. Where, where, where? See, this is me panicking. Okay. 
Please. Please. That's it. That one was a really bad spawn, so that's okay. That is okay. Okay, that's good. Two right off the bat actually is fantastic. That's like the best spawn I think we've ever had. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Okay. I don't know what that noise is. Let's get this one here. This one here. Good. 15. One back here. Because I know that would be the death of me if that was the last one. And I think I'm going to play it safe and go in the vault here. I think that's the right call. Okay. This is not good. Not good at all. These layouts are so confusing. All right, I think I see where to go. I think we go here, here, yeah, oh, good, okay. Okay. Good try though. So we've cleared all of them out. I do wanna go get the one to the left. Because if we don't, again, we're kind of asking for trouble. We don't want to leave a stray one out in the open. That is a mistake. I didn't run, so we should be fine here. Yes. Good. That's probably my biggest complaint is that the radar takes too long to come out. And has resulted in a massive time loss in this instance. Over the course of however many times you use it. When every second is so important. Okay. There we go. Is the wall back here behind me? Yes. We need to kind of let him do his thing. We're going to get this one over here real quick. I just saw the light. Yeah, there's one. Okay. As soon as we get these, we need to get to a shelter immediately. Not a bad start. But the, the difficult... I'm getting greedy. Actively getting greedy! No! That was a false green light? No, it, it was a real one. There are no false green lights. Dingus. <sighs> Behind me. Oh! And there's one all the way back there. We know you're in there. Come out and become a part of the maze. Part of the maze? Thank you. 
It's a very kind offer, but... I respectfully refuse. Good try! I respect the grind. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of nowhere. This is not good. I'm gonna play it safe and get to the thing here. There's another one. Stop it! Oh my god, guys, is this the one? Okay. To the left. Is it just two left? Perfect timing. <laughs> I know I didn't do my organization correctly. In terms of... Oh, it's right there. In terms of clearing out sections? I did not do it. Do I? So, the whole maze was those spiders? Oh my gosh. Okay, cool ending. But, oh my god, that was hard. Holy, oh my, my heart was in my throat when I had one left. Let's, let's see what the last one's called. The Phantom. Oh, God. I don't even want to know what that is. The Phantom? <sighs> Alright, guys. I am going to need a little break, um, but it won't seem like a break to you. That one was brutal. Well, we have one more mode to finish it off. The Phantom. I have no clue what to expect here. Um, I I know that based on the Steam achievements, this is, I guess, the last of the five core mini games. I know there's like extras. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that, but um, here we go. I mean, I don't even know what to expect. Stay quiet. It can't see you either. What do you mean it can't see me? Click to place a device. Stay quiet. What do you mean it can't see me? OK. 
Can I not? I don't understand. Can I not place another one? Oh! Oh! The device is a defense shield against him. But... If he runs into you... It's too late. Because the device takes a while to set up. Oh! Come on! Turn on! Turn on! Okay. Alright, I know what to do. Your devices won't save you. Uh, the first one did. The first one did. All right. Space to hold your breath. I don't hear anything happening when I press space. That's why there's all these objects everywhere. My God, uh. that's why there's so many objects. Okay, I was like, why is it all of a sudden filled with stuff? The device did save me. Okay, let me just see what the guide says. The phantom. It's invisible. Hold your breath to avoid detection. It will pass through if you don't make a sound. Oh! Listen for any shifting of furniture in another room. You may have only seconds to act before it finds you. Oh, yeah, it can't see me. When it finds you, the device are your only defense. The device will shock the phantom out of a charge. Place them early as they take time to charge. Okay. So I did have an understanding of it, but I, I, I was not understanding the fact that it cannot see me. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna place a device here. him okay. so we're good well I can't get there that's totally blocked man this is tough can I crouch no can I not get there for real Man, all right. I'm, I'm just gonna start over. For some reason, it's not letting me through here. Just get me. Okay. I'm everywhere. So he can't see me at all. 
Um, even if he's right on top of me, basically. Okay, 20. The orb requirement isn't ridiculous. That was me. Okay. 20 is doable. Go away. Okay. Okay. He didn't come this way. Gotta say, another genius. That's okay. We know where the thing is. Should be good. Okay. So we're going to head this way and try to cover our ground a bit more so we can place one in a more advantageous position. Okay. Um. Go right here. Well, that sucks. That's unfortunate. So, I don't know what about my strategy I need to change there. I think I'm doing okay. Um, I kind of just got unlucky there with the setup time. I think it's funny how there are blue TVs. Okay, you know what? Oh, I got so lucky. That was that was complete luck. I, I did not plan that far ahead. That was complete luck. That I turned the corner and... Alright, I, I want to get a little farther up this way, though. good spot. I'm almost like trying to be quiet in real life. There's something over there? I think there is, I just can't get to it yet. Okay.
We're doing it, guys. Five left. He's pissed. Nope, he's in this room. Oh, come on, bro! I have no clue where my thing is. This is gonna be complete luck. Yeah, I'm dead. I know where it is. Damn it! I should have just gone and got it. Crap. Oh, that's so tragic. I got so lucky. That would have been so incredible if I actually won then. That's such a, such a bummer, man. I didn't even know he was there. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. That's, 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 that's a real bummer. And I'm kind of just like, man, I'm kind of done, but. The show must go on. I really just kind of want to beat this guy at this point. Cause like, I felt like I was so close. I felt like I basically almost beat him. But I got, I, I panicked again at the end. Like the hardest part of this game by far is not panicking. By far the hardest part of this game is not panicking. I want to say, like, one of the gameplay features of this game is the ability to, rem or like, 
one of the thing, one of the things that really tests is the ability to remain calm, even in the most nerve-wracking circumstances. I really think. All that way. So I, I'm, I'm out of devices, unfortunately. Um, I'm not... Not feeling this is the run. Considering how many we still have left. The devices are... I, I think you lose, right? If... Mm. You predict grave misfortune. Okay. I did notice when you have your radar up did he just run into it on accident that really sucks <laughs> that sucks I wish he wasn't able to trigger them in regular mode Jacko lantern. Okay. Eleven to go. Not feeling good about it. But it's not a lost cause. Because if you play perfectly, then you can do it with no devices. Very unlikely, though. Yep, there he is. We're okay. So we're gonna head this way. I wonder if he can... Cheater. My breath was held. I hear everything, we get ya. He can hear it all. Okay, big room, device. Okay. 
I got very lucky there. <sighs> this is so tough. I'm not... Dude, what? If I can hold my breath, like if I can run from room to room, but if I'm holding my breath, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I knew he was going to come back. Yep. He's camping. Nice try, dork. Excuse me, table. Table for Hamana. of them in the surrounding area. Okay. Don't have the device to fall back on, but we're going to make it work. I wasn't going to depend on it anyways. Come on. Where's he going? Oh, he almost got me. Oh my god, I can't. Yeah, he's he's camping me real hard. can't go this way. Yeah, I can't go that way. Please. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's getting real bad. He's re ridiculously aggressive right now.
Wow. Where are the other blue orbs? Come on. I don't get it. Can I go this way? Oh, I see something. Yeah, he's just walking back and forth. Oh. It's not letting me. Have I ch checked my radar too many times? So, I don't know why it was letting me open my radar. Let's see if there's something in the instructions about that. It's invisible. Hold your breath to avoid detection. We'll pass through if you don't make a sound. Listen for any shifting of furniture. Yep, yep, yep. When it finds you, the device or your only defense dice will strike the phantom out of a chase. Um, so, we do know that at least from what I've seen, the Phantom, even if it's not, not in chase mode, can trigger one of them, which is really unfortunate. And it seems like your radar can't be opened at times. Does that, like, maybe that means he's close enough to you that he can't open it? I'm not sure. Normally what happens is you open it and then it closes if he's nearby. Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. And I... I think I need to reevaluate my strategy a little bit, I think. This is without a doubt the most terrifying maze in video game history. It might be the hardest maze as well, because... Holy Billy, this is brutal. Yet here we are. I'm not giving up. I know you guys wouldn't want me to give up. Not a good start. Zero orbs around us. This is a bad start, gamers. Oh, there's one back there. Right, let me get this one over here real quick. That's such a shame, man. Why would you have him be- Oh, that's such a bummer. That's probably the one gameplay thing I would change about this game. I don't think that that's- I don't like that. Um, he's able to trigger the device when he's not in chase mode. I'm not sure why they would have that. Come 
I am going to play a bit more cautiously from the jump. God for that trap. Okay. Kicked in just in time. So we're completely out of traps. Maybe we get this one here. number are we on? What number are we on? How? I don't understand how that happened. see me I was still holding my breath man I'm not sure if this one is as hard as the last one um but I mean it's it's brutal okay where are we on the radar here big room okay I think those are the best need to play as cautiously as I can at the start here. Right. Head this way. Okay. Try to strategize our movement a bit better. my gate where's my gate there it is bingo okay I'm gonna put another one down we got a few orbs here Dear God. Oh my God. Dear... Oh.
Where's the last one? Come on. Why would you say that? Heading the right way. Ugh, I, I, I feel like I'm so done. I'm losing morale. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking under the pressure. Just not good at all. Um, it seems like sometimes he kind of walks back and forth to where if you're like on one and you haven't mapped it out right. It's like he's bound to spot you because he kind of runs like back and forth over you until uh, you just get caught. I'm not sure if that's how that works. It feels like it does. Let's take a look. Um, alright, so we have not done a good job so far. Okay. I wish I could place my second one down. Take a look. Ooh, that's not good. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Not gonna mess around with him this time. How did I not pick this one up earlier? Come on. Dude, no, 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 no. The, the collision is not about to lose me this game. Okay. One left. 
läuft. It is anyone's guess as to where this last one is. Yeah, he's really mad. Yeah, I can't even move. Is that it? I cannot take two steps. There it is. No. You gotta be kidding me. I can't move, I'm stuck. Is there another way? Alright, well. Hail Mary. I know the general direction. <gasps> there it is! I did! Don't stop, don't look back! No! Don't look back! Get these trash cans tables out of the way! I'm at the gold and silver pawn shop with all this crap everywhere! Go! The end? That's the end? Five stars, okay, so let's... I know there's like some extra stuff, but let's let's talk about um, if I decide to, I might return to the extra stuff um, in a separate video. But let's talk about that, guys. So, wow, I am really stressed out. You can definitely see my mood shift as we go through these five games. Um, the last two were absolutely brutal, and I I really like the fifth one, Phantom. I don't like the enemy's AI when he is in his last stage. He he really, really camps you and kind of walks back and forth over you, so it's a coin toss whether or not when you release your breath, he's going to grab you. Um, but minor complaints aside, this is one of the smartest and most... Um, incredible examples of fantastic game design making an experience terrifying. I mean, the, the experience is genuinely terrifying in any of the five modes. And that's not so much due to the atmosphere and the creature design, which those are still very good, don't get me wrong. Great atmosphere, fantastic five-star sound design. However, it's the game design and what it requires of the player that creates these situations that are inherently scary. And it, you know, as, as things get really difficult, that scare factor starts to go away as you're, as you're more worried about doing the right stuff and, and having the right inputs and, you know, worry about your skill rather than you're worried about 
you know, what does a monster look like or, or atmospheric stuff like that. But it's still, even on that last playthrough, when that thing saw me and I'm running from it, it's scary. It's scary every time and so few games can get that right. Um, I consider It Steals to probably be one of the best indie horror games I've ever played. It's definitely one of the scariest games I've ever played. And if you made it through this whole video, you deserve a gold star because this was a monster video. I was going to do five parts, but I decided to just mash it up into one giant experience and have you guys experience the highs and the lows with me. Please let me know what you thought of It Steals. Let me know if you have any other suggestions because this was actually a recommendation by dozens of people re um, recommending me play It Steals. Fantastic stuff. I would like to see updates, to be honest. I, I, I don't know. Maybe we can fill that whole bottom part of the screen out with new stars and new game modes. I think this concept of a maze this ambiguous terrifying maze that changes and has different entities inside of it the sky is the limit you can keep this up and consistently add new experiences and one of the things that i like about this game is instead of designing a scary monster and then creating a game around that you know something like poppy's playtime um not a fan of poppy's playtime not a fan of garden of bam bam um, that's just me personally. This game designed the gameplay experience that it wanted the player to, you know, experience. And they designed the aesthetics and the sound and the movement of the monsters around that. So everything in this game... This game was made like a Nintendo game was, basically, where the game experience was the was the the building block rather than like oh i want to create a game with this kind of monster in it it was more of like i want to create a game that puts a player in a very specific experience with very specific gameplay mechanics and then i'll design the aesthetics the atmosphere the monster around that to facilitate that and uh that's where i think it steals absolutely shines it's a brilliant brilliant game absolutely worth the money no question um and i hope you guys enjoyed it guys this is It Steals. Thank you for watching. I love you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.